You see the title? If it ain't gay, if she looks like a bay. I can't wait to get into this age old conversation of, oh, I get, uh, my pee pee get hard when I look at femboys or traps in anime, but does that mean I'm gay? Well, let's see if this video will answer. <laughs> I know what you're wondering. This is a Shota. This is a cross-dressing Shota. This is like stacking up. I wouldn't necessarily say taboo, but we're already dealing with the whole notion of traps. But not only just a trap, it's a Shota trap. Wondering right now. Is this character in front of me a woman? Nope. It's a child. It's a child. What do you, what do you, what do you, look at it, bro. Woman. Nope. It's a guy. He has a little elephant trunk between his legs. Elephant green screen effect. That's insane. The, the, the fact that there is actually jiggle physics there for the bullets is absolutely bonkers. You know, I've been a part of the anime community for the longest time now. Until yeah. this day, I can't tell whether the character has a Joy-Con stick hidden within their pants or not. How do you even identify the gender? Nagisa Felix. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nagisa Felix. Astolfo from Fate. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think this is from Steinsgate through the memes. I think this is Hunter Hunter, right? In the top left, I don't know. Even identify the gender of these characters. I guarantee you, it is impossible to tell whether they're a chick or not. You can never be sure. Can't get caught lacking, bro. Okay. One wrong sentence. But here's the thing. You guys are so fucking like scared of like, oh, am I gay or not? Like, who cares about these labels? If you're actually like attracted to these types, then maybe there's something within that's trying to tell you something. And you're so caught up in this whole like, I don't know, like, uh, oh my god, I need to be straight. If I, if it's, it's not gated, you know, ha, you know, fuck a femboy or something, right? It's just like, bro. Just say that you enjoy it and move on. Stop being such a pussy. You can never be sure. Can't get caught lacking, bro. One wrong sentence and all the homies will be calling you gay for the rest of your life. Why are you gay? <laughs> Legendary line. Who says I'm gay? You. You are gay. You are gay. <laughs> like, halfway through episode 6. Venti, I think, like, and maybe this is a bit of a conspiracy, but I genuinely believe that, like, the impact that Venti has had on the younger generation of boys that are willing to explore their like feminine side, I, I think Venti straight up has had like generational impact. Maybe call me crazy, but I feel like Venti is the reason why there's gonna be so many more femboys as you know the years pass by. Six out of nowhere is just gonna pull out the I'm actually a dude card, and your whole life becomes a lie. Or vice versa. Yeah, I could totally get it, right? Let's say you're at a club and you find someone attractive and you want to talk to them and you go home then uh-oh. That person is more packed than you are. And then at that point, if you're not willing to do that for sure, right? I, I was talking about the whole attraction stuff before, but if you were not aware of the hidden blade underneath, then I guess that could be like a what the fuck moment. What? What? What do you mean you're a female of the human race? Not a hot femboy twink. This can't be happening. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, man, you can even hop on my anime list and yeah. check out their voice actors. And it's no, they're all girls. Here's the thing, like girls, like to all the traps. Of course, it's gonna be girls. But notice that like there's a lot of like sh battle shown in main characters, right? Young boys, they're voiced by girls as well. Still doesn't matter because a bunch of female voice actors play male characters too. So yeah. Gamble wisely when simping over one of these anime characters. Gamble wisely, those two words aren't meant to be next to each other. If you win, then you're a winner. Just don't lose, bro. Gamble wisely, easy. Get it twisted. But at the end of the day, if that character is bad, they gonna make me down bad. It don't even matter. You know what there they say? Is. If there's a hole, there's a way. I don't think Albert Einstein said that, but sure, why not? Never in my life did I think this day would come. Putting time aside to make a video about femboys. Where did it go wrong? Anyways, let's dive into some examples, shall we? Okay. I have a few characters in mind. 
Oh boy. Time to let the world witness my degeneracy Let's and finest. Okay, let's start off with the king of traps. Astolfo, the king of traps? I'd say like, if you ask somebody like, do you know what like a femboy is? Or like, do you watch anime? Do you know what like a trap is? I think the most like accessible um, character that people would mention is Astolfo, yeah. Astolfo. Hey, yo. You know, I'm not that big into the Fate series, but I've seen this dude everywhere online. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to miss him. Like, again, before we even watched Fate Zero, I knew who Astolfo was. Well, it's because I played Fate Grand Order. But even if I didn't play Fate Grand Order, the amount of just references and memes revolving around the most popular trap in Fate, it just, it, it's, it, it's kind of like how people know Kurumi from Data Live, but don't even know what Data Live is, right? People know this character, yet probably has no clue about what a Fate franchise is. He's been used in ways no one should ever be used in. Cough, cough, monster can. Mm-hmm. There's always the, um... <laughs> Sorry. It was just a comparison with Astolfo's dick in a monster can. Cough. Okay, that aside, this guy is basically the face of traps. First of all, his character design. Yeah. He's, he's all pink. Yeah. His, his whole persona is pink. Yeah. Everywhere is pink. Yeah. And yes, I know, it's 2020. <laughs> this is also funny. When, like, super jacked masculine dudes wear frilly pink stuff. They contrast the gap moe. Cool. Anyone can wear pink and be a cutie patootie. But this dude doesn't give off any masculine energy whatsoever. No matter how you look at it, he looks like a chick. Yeah. Okay, you only usually see him in two outfits. But here's the thing. Do you know why people are so confused about this concept of like, but you're a guy. Why do you look like this? And it, 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 it truly just comes down to society and the expectations that you're supposed to have if you're born a man or a woman. And you can't possibly comprehend that maybe some dudes want to be more girly and some girls want to be more manly. Tomboys and tom girls exist for a reason. But people who are so just like strict, just rigid in their worldview of how like gender is viewed, which is also very funny because, you know, with <laughs> Donald Trump winning, he's actually going to assign man, woman at birth. That's it. America only acknowledges two genders. I don't care whether or not you think this is correct or not. I, it's just actually crazy that he's gonna do it like what an absolute stance but there is a lot of like flexibility and therefore people are like how could this be a man and i'm confused am i allowed to like this just ask yourself just think sometimes in situations like this you shouldn't think with your head you should think with the head down there okay you only usually see him in two outfits one of them has him wearing high stockings up to his thighs <laughs> okay. and the other one has him in a skirt god damn <laughs> Ah, uh, my my wiener doesn't know which way to turn. I feel like I'm in a court case trying to prove why I'm not gay for finding this. Just say it proud and loud that you coom to Astolfo three times a day and that you're proud of it. This dude hot. Judge, the poses made here heavily suggest that the character is female. Oh well, female enough. And why is there no bulge when he's wearing a swimsuit? Because the package is very elegant. That simply makes no sense. I rest my case. Therefore, I am not gay. And I, I think again, it's it's all it's all about the labels, right? It's about like the stereotypes and the stigma of like, oh what? You're gay? It's a lot it's 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 way more accepted now, but like it's like almost like a taboo thing where people don't want to accept that even if it may be true and to someone that's always just seen one type of person just girl has titties and ass and then they see a character who's a dude but dresses girly and they get turned on by that it's because there's that feminine qualities that exist in both that girl that you were you know obsessing over and the trap and that's it it's not really that you're obsessed with the dick. Maybe you are. But it's all about the femininity, right? It's about, like, the feminine aspect portrayed. And here's another thing. It's really simple, right? Take another example where instead of, instead of Astolfo looking like this, what if you had, like, a, a bearded, uh, fat, just, like, think about, like... I don't want to... I don't want... 
I'm sorry for the image that you're about to have in your mind. Maybe your dad isn't, you know, overweight and is a hog, but think about your dad in this outfit. And that person also identified as, you know, a fembo or whatever. Suddenly, you're not attracted to that, right? And this isn't to prove or disprove that you're gay or not. It's all about the appearance, how they look, right? You can have a really passable trap or you can have your dad. <laughs> and you're, you're going to be like, what the fuck are you wearing, right? It's all about like appealing because the feminine uh, uh, traits are there. And that's it. You're attracted to the feminine traits in this male character. It's that simple. I rest my case. Objection! Firstly, respect the size of each man's wiener, even if they're micro-sized. Secondly, if the character was really a female, yeah. then why does Wikipedia state otherwise? <gasps> Nani? No, it can't be. Okay then. Yeah. Why don't we move on to the closest thing to Astolfo? Sure. Felix from ReZero. There we go. Yep, you don't even have to ask. It's a guy. Yeah. For anyone who thought this dude was a chick, I don't blame you. Of course, everyone probably thought Felix was a girl in the beginning. Just look at how Felix presents himself. But then it's just like, uh-oh, flat chest. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, my trap radar is going off. Even Subaru, the main character of the series, did too. I'm out, man. Why Japan? It's like they got bored of making women and said, screw it, give it balls. Give it big fat balls. I don't know if Felix has big fat balls or not, but I think that like it's quite telling when you say why Japan? It's like it, it, it's like this notion of like before you knew you enjoyed it the entire time. But now that you know, well, well, again, there's the whole aspect of like attract, being attracted to the whole femininity thing. But it's another topic of I'm attracted to it, but I didn't know that you're a dude and you have a dick. And I am not having anything to do with that. Perfectly fine. And maybe you feel like you've been set up. But what, if you're still attracted to this character after understanding those facts, it feels like a lot of people have this cognitive dissonance as they live in the closet and don't want to be called gay and have all the negative taboo association with it and being, fe being feel like they're being like rejected by the normative position in society. Just again, just stop. It's not that deep. Just think with your other head sometimes. Why Japan? It's like they got bored of making women and said, screw it, give it balls. Give Based. it big fat balls. Okay, here's a real pickle twister. What if the character- <laughs> What the fuck is this? Piccolo's Cage? <laughs> I want to see Piccolo, but with Nicolas Cage's face. What if the character was genderless, mm. but was mentally a guy? <laughs> what? Genderless. Okay, so now they're non-binary, but they're mentally a guy? then they're probably gonna be more masculine. And I'm not really attracted to that. So I'm gonna say no. Was mentally a guy. Okay. Huh? So Rimuru. But this is physically still very feminine, right? And Rimuru is like a very, very androgynous character where a lot of people probably... Honestly, a lot of people probably would say they're, they'd be more happy, more like um, proud to accept that they would fuck Rimuru because a slime form can remove the dick or have the dick. Maybe both sides would like that because, you know, you can just kind of customize it to whatever you want. That has to do with the slime. We're talking about the mentality here, right? If the mental state was of a guy, but the appearance was a girl, would you be into it? Most people just lust after the appearance still. Most people don't even think about, like, the personality. In fact, I bet most motherfuckers don't even know what Astolf is about or know even what Felix is about. You only see the outward appearance. So the personality, I think, doesn't even make sense when trying to, like, give an example with Rimuru to compare with Astolfo and Felix. Because, again, I guarantee you, the people who are attracted to Astolfo and Felix and whack to them every fucking day don't give a fuck about their mental state or their personality. They just care about the outward appearance. That's just lust. Genderless slime. That looks feminine most of the time. 
I get that he was some old Japanese salary man before he was stabbed and reincarnated. Yep. So he, he, he's mentally a dude, but mm. that ain't stopping me. The fact that the dude has been put in several... Yeah, Slime Diaries actually goes crazy with the fan service, bro. Lewd, sussy mm -hmm. outfits doesn't help at all. A bunny girl suit? Gothic dresses? I would say that Rimuru's not really mental, mental, men, like, has the mentality of a man, though. I don't think this really makes sense when talking about Rimuru at this point of the story. Because maybe in the beginning, when Rimuru first got reincarnated, yeah, he has the Passover memories from his past life. But as he lives more in Jura Tempest, and as he absorbs Shizu, and, you know, even him, his body turns into Shizu, I would argue that his mental state of personality is becoming more and more flexible to the point where he can just assume any role and is more like definitely relative to what was before a lot more feminine than masculine so again i don't think this example really makes sense and even a cheerleader outfit come on man can you really blame a brother for falling for it you gonna make me act up I'm gonna call him him, right? Mentally, he's a dude. Are you? I don't think he's mentally a dude or a girl. He's a fucking slime that has an androgynous, you know, look. I think he's completely different. You sure about that? I sound, I sound so. I swear I'm not gay. Listen, this entire video just feels like again. He's probably just joking, and there's no need for me to do this arm chill fucking psychology deconstruction of his mind but it does feel like someone that is in the closet and wants to let everyone know that he enjoys this shit without you know getting lashed therefore he's joking around it just say i'm proud bro that you fucking whack off to rimu to take him back shots by all the fucking dwarf bros and then the goblins and then guild at the end just say that you enjoy it are you sure about that oh, i sound so, so, so I swear I'm not gay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Call me gay. I don't okay. care. There it is. God. <laughs> yeah, so basically, it ain't gay if she looks like a bae. No, the conclusion should be, if I want to fuck this thing, and you're going to call me gay, then fuck it. I'll be the gayest person alive. Peace. <laughs> Coward. Howard, you fucking pussied out at the end, but it's not supposed to be a deep video. We're just having fun. We're just looking at traps and making jokes. This doesn't need to be this crazy conversation and dialogue of whether or not people are closeted and are too afraid of conforming to societal expectations and therefore they make videos like this to make it seem like it's all a joke. But hey, please go check out Mr. Big Kusa. Here's a link to the video. And I'll see you next time.